Weather Authority forecast. Well, it was Saturday, it was hot, and you know what? The one thing that you can't feel in this moment is those temperatures. But what you can see, thanks to Respite Nicholas and our Midland Sky Kim, is that, you know, the clouds are pretty non-existent, so a clear kind of night, clear driving conditions as well, so not bad at all. The one thing you can't feel in this moment is the heat, and right now we are sitting in our 80s, even though we have cooled down, we're sitting at 87 degrees, our humidity is sitting at, you know, 21%, our dew point 42, our winds are traveling south, southeast at 7 miles per hour. Now before that sunset happened at around 8.58 p.m., you know, West Texas were able to enjoy a very hot kind of day, sitting at a high of 99 degrees. I know most of us spent the day, you know, at the pool or even in the AC, but you know what? That works because we're about three degrees warmer than our average, which is about 96 degrees. Taking a look at our record, a hot day, but not as hot as how we were back in 2011 when we set our triple digits at 111 degrees. And then taking a look at our lows for today, we did come in pretty warm for that by one degree, sitting at 73 degrees when really around this time our average is 72 degrees. So you know what? We'll take what we can get in our area. And speaking of our area, everyone pretty much sat in their upper 90s to their triple digits, such as Big Spring at 101 degrees. In Snyder, 100 degrees. In Peck, it's the hottest at 104 degrees. In Wink, 102 degrees. In the Guava Pass at 93 degrees. Now, for tomorrow morning, we are going to be in our 70s. Pretty cool because we have a cold front coming in, sitting at 74 degrees, mostly sunny and pretty breezy. Now, taking a look at what that cold front is going to do for us, we're going to have a pretty chill kind of Sunday morning at 73 degrees in the middle of this area in Big Spring 76 and you know what with that cold front temperatures will begin to rise on up pretty quickly by 11 in the morning we reach to our 80s at 86 degrees in Midland Odessa along with in Big Spring 85 in Seminole in Pecos and in Fort Stockton sitting at 87 degrees so definitely not too bad whatsoever now Again, that cold front is going to have us have a, that cool start at 72 degrees by noon. That's when we will see an increase at 86 degrees, mostly sunny and pretty breezy. Then we get into 5 p.m. That's when we do see that chance of some isolated thunderstorms, but we will be sitting at 91 degrees. Speaking of those thunderstorms right now in the area, you know, just pretty cloudy in some areas in Marfa and, you know, in Hobbs a little bit. But then by the time we get into 3 p.m. on Sunday, that's when in the northern part of the Pern Basin in Carlsbad and the Hobbs, some areas in the middle. That's the area we will be, you know, seeing some of that rain. It's going to pick on up around 7 p.m. And then, you know, by the time we get into Monday around 6 a.m., cloud cover, a little bit of some rain in Carlsbad. So, you know, stick with us tomorrow. I'll have those thunder updates for you guys. So definitely not too bad whatsoever. A couple rain tips for you guys. Do be sure to stay indoors until the storm passes. Avoid flooded roads. Drive slowly in those puddles. Tomorrow morning, 74. And that seven-day forecast is going to show that we're going to enjoy 94 degrees. You know, Avi, definitely not too bad for some sports. And now